Today I'm going to show you how to make an inflatable cushion um, with a valve um, using uh, thick plastic sheeting as the main material. Um, in order to do this you will need a heat source, which I've used a gas heater, um, and then you need to get a nail and put it in a piece of wood with a square section to stop it rolling. I use two nails. Then you need some strips of oven sheet. This is the heavy duty oven sheet. These need to be about two centimetres wide and you need one strip about one and a half centimetres wide. Then you need scissors to cut the plastic. The main material you're going to use here is um, a fairly heavy gauge clear plastic of the type used in uh, greenhouses or for covering cloches and things, and some cardboard. Now you do need to be a bit careful trying to get a good piece of smooth cardboard that doesn't have too much uh, rubbing on this direction, so I'm trying to... So the first thing we're going to do is put the nails on to start heating up and have a look at the valve. Now this valve is made from, uh, this is where the piece was uh, turned over, so it had an edge anyway, but you can make it out of two pieces the same size. Uh, this needs to be about um, 25 centimetres long uh, and about 6 centimetres wide. And what we're going to do is um, glue up this edge and then we're going to make uh, a corner, uh, two corners to make a shape like that eventually. So the first thing to do is wait for the nails to get heated. And try that. And then just rub it continuously backwards and forwards in an action like that. If the nail is too hot, the plastic will burn on the edges and get thin. And if the nail isn't hot enough, it won't melt through properly. So, there. Having two nails means that you can easily go between the two. When you put a new nail on, it is much, much hotter. Now, you need to wait until this is absolutely cool before you take it off. This is one thing I've learned. So it's very hot at the moment. So while we're waiting for that, we'll put the corner pieces on. And what we'll do is about there. And we use our third piece about here. Anyway, wait for that to cool down. Okay, that's been about three minutes. Uh, now this is totally cool to the touch all the way. That's important. So that means this will peel off and we can see how we've done with the sticking. Sometimes it sticks to that's where we put the new one on, where it was hot. So there we have the beginnings um, of the valve. What I do next is cut down here just to tidy that up. And then I cut
each one of these away. And I also just round the edge here. That's where you go. So that is uh, the valve is now made. The hole at this end is about one centimetre wide. So that's the valve. The next job is to make attach the valve to the cushion. We only want to attach it to the top side to start with, and we're going to attach it about halfway down at where the cushion is going to be. Um, and what we're going to do is so we've now only got the top part of the the sheet showing. And we're going to put it in about um, 12 centimetres underneath. And we're going to stick it down for 6 centimetres, so the 6 centimetres not stuck down each side. That's the first job. Again, we leave that now for three to five minutes 